What's up, sleaze balls? So today I'm here to talk about uh, why some women see you as alpha and some women see you as beta. And uh, I'm the guy who asked me this, this was a very good question because I get this sometimes too when I'm out with women. When I'm with some women, and basically guys, the women that see you as alpha, these are gonna be the women that you sleep with like on the first night, second night, stuff like that, the latest. And the women who see you as beta is gonna be the women who you wait a month and all this and other shit for, and, or four to six weeks and all this other shit for. Now, there's two main contributing factors will make a woman, one woman see you as an alpha and one woman see you as a beta. That's gonna be guys social programming and interest level. Now, first let me tackle the social programming. Guys, there are some women out there, no matter you know how many bitches you knock down or whatever the case may be, if you ain't selling drugs, if you ain't riding a fucking motorcycle half drunk all the fucking time, if you ain't ride, walking around with a fucking leather jacket and some fucking shades on, if you ain't out robbing banks, if you ain't hanging with Pookie and Ray Ray, they gonna see you as a beta male provider. All right, it, and, and this is gonna be a, the smallest fraction of this, all right? This ain't gonna be the largest fraction. The largest fraction gonna be the interest level. But it's gonna be some women out there that if you got a nice stable job, a nice safe stable job, you're a beta. That's just the bottom line, guys. Some women gonna only see some guys who, you know, fast life, so to speak, as alpha males, all right? That's just the way some of these girls are programmed. When I, like, you know, I, I grew up in the hood. I think I told you guys this shit. And the hottest chicks in the hood, they only fuck with the bad boys. That's just the way it is. And everybody else, they just saw as a beta. So they only fuck with the thugs. They only fuck with the guys who was like, had reputations. That's the that's who they saw as the alpha males, all right. So, and, but it's not relegated to just hood chicks, all right. It's gonna be some women out there with good jobs and shit like that too that just only see bad boys as alpha males, all right. Don't really concern yourself with those. But like I told you guys, we ain't over here crying and bitching by female nature. If you wanna see me as a beta male provider, I'll be a beta male provider. I'll fuck your ass to sleep. And then you ain't gonna hear from me no more. So guys, listen, we fuck those bitches too, all right? So if they wanna label us a beta male provider because we ain't out robbing banks and selling drugs, then so fucking be it. We fuck those bitches too, all right? Sell that bitch a dream and dick her down, all right? So that's the bottom line on that, guys. Now, the most important one is gonna be the interest level. Now, this, this is interest level is funny, guys, because if a woman sees you as a nine or a 10, all right, you're an alpha male to her. All right, she's going to see you as an alpha male. But interacting with her, you can lower it. All right, so let me let me give y'all an example. That girl that I put on the vlog, and I told you guys, I knew this was going to happen. I knew this was going to happen, so I, you know, I, I pre-told y'all that guys that, that putting this girl on camera and shit was going to give her the ultimate validation. And so this week here, she pulled back, and she acted indifferent towards me. All right, this is a girl who, I ain't going to say she texts me every day, good morning, daddy, or good night, handsome, but she pursued me a lot. This week, she ain't do it. All right, that's what happens when you give her validation. I gave her all that crap validation, and, by, and what I mean by videotaping her is, Oh, I'm so hot. He want to videotape me and put me on Instagram so everybody can see how hot I am. Oh, oh. So essentially what, I'm, what I told her is by videotaping her and putting her on Instagram and all this other shit is that you're so hot, I got to show everybody. Do y'all guys get that? You never want a woman feeling that. But, you know, I martyred myself. I sacrificed myself. I knew that was going to happen, but I wanted to show you guys how I interact with females. And also, you know, I just don't agree with dating coaches never showing you they women, all right? Now, I don't know if I'll do that shit again because seeing how her interest level dropped this week by me validating her like that. Now, guys, I'm a seasoned uh, dating coach. I've been fucking bitches to sleep a long time. All I got to do to get her interest level back up is pull back, all right? So she acting different this week uh, with me. And I actually was with her yesterday. And normally she's constantly doing you know, contact. Yesterday she didn't do it. She was a little different. She was like, you know, really one chase. That's this. That's what happens when you validate her. So right now she's probably seeing me as a little beta-ish, all right? As a beta, all right? Now, 
I know how to raise it up. I'll just, you know, disappear a little bit. I won't ask her out next week, next weekend, or whatever the case may be. I'll say I got to work if she bring it up. Even if she bring it up, I'll say, shit, I got to work this weekend. But she'll know it's bullshit. She'll just know I ain't making time for her. And so that'll raise her interest back up because now at that point, I put her in a scarcity mindset. So I'm not concerned with that. But the point of me saying is, beforehand, this was a girl that was crazy pursuing me saw me as an alpha and then me validating her a little attraction so a woman if a woman does see you as an alpha initially and this is going to be a woman guys you can get physical with real quick first date second date at the latest she sees you as an alpha male she sees you as pre-selected guy that's all alpha males is by the way i don't I think some of y'all guys think an alpha male is somebody who walk around with a big chest thumping his chest all the time. All the alpha males is somebody that women pre-deem as pre-selected, as in all, a lot of women find you desirable. All right, that's all uh, alpha males are. All right, I'm talking about with women. I'm not talking about in the real world. All right, I'm a, I'm a dating coach, not a fucking uh, financial advisor, okay? So I'm talking about with women, what makes you an alpha male with women. I'm not talking about in the business world. All right, and, and the reason why guys get this always get this twisted up because guys who are not successful with women But maybe they make a lot of money. They just want to label themselves as alpha males All right, or whatever the case may be which is just not true All right, you got to be good with women and good in the business world to be considered an alpha male All right guys who done slept with two women all their life But maybe they make a million dollars a year and they run their own company They just want to be labeled an alpha male. They just don't work that way. All right, but anyway getting back to the point is that if you are perceived as an alpha male to a woman, all right, what can happen is if you get to acting like a beta male by validating her and all this other bullshit, she can lower you to a beta male status, all right? Now, what is a beta male? All a beta male, as in with women, guy, with women, I'm not talking about in the, in the real world, I'm talking about with women, is somebody that she doesn't find you maybe naturally desirable, but she can use you for your resources, all right? So that's what, that's what, that's basically what it comes down, guys, is what makes a woman, some women see you as an alpha male and a beta male. It just comes down to interest level, all right? And if she sees you as an alpha male, but you start doing beta male bullshit, she can drop you to the beta male status, all right? That's all that shit is. Now, now this is the thing, guys. If you going if she going a woman gonna fuck with you on a beta male, the only way a woman will fuck with a, a beta male per se is if she sees him as somebody who can be a provider. This is why this is why guys, if a, if a this is a you wanna know a recipe for not getting laid or not no woman wanna fuck with you, a woman perceiving you as a beta male and not being financially stable. Now you finna enter into the true force loneliness. So I don't see you you not desirable, you're 350 pounds. And you don't got your shit together. So now you finna enter into the true force loneliness because you don't, even though you, I don't find you sexually attractive, if you're gonna be a beta male, at least you can be a beta male provider. All right? If you are a guy that most women do not find desirable, and on top of that, you ain't gonna have your shit together, you're gonna be having a lot of porno and lotion in your future. All right? That's the bottom fucking line, guys. All right, so that's the difference in why some women sees you as alpha male and some women sees you as beta male. It happens to me too sometimes, guys. You understand what I'm saying? Every woman I fuck with don't see me as alpha male, all right? I done had some women I've been on the third fucking date with and the bitch still ain't dropped them draws, all right? And I know why, all right? I don't knock her fucking socks off, all right? Bottom fucking line. But why are we on the third date? I know you're thinking, well, why the fuck she kept you around for three days? Well, I got my shit together. So what she thinking is, maybe he can be a beta male provider, all right? That's the bottom fu fucking line, guys. If you out with a woman and by the third date, by the end of the third date, she ain't fucked, she sees you as a beta male provider. You are not an alpha male to her. This happens to me too, guys, all right? It happens to me too. It's just the way it is. You got the choice to walk away or do you got the choice to say, you know what? She can think what she want to think. I'm going to fuck this bitch. Now, here's the thing with this, guys. If you so choose to want to, me, myself, I walk away. I don't have time for that bullshit. But if you got a bitch and you ain't spending no money on, like if you want to just invite her over to the house a couple more times or whatever the case may be, and you ain't spending no money on, go ahead and knock yourself out and do it. The reason I won't do it, I don't have time for that bullshit. That's why I tell you guys to cut it loose after the third date. Because 
I'm dealing with other bitches. I don't have time to keep dating a bitch, dating a bitch, dating a bitch. All right? I don't have time. If I ain't fuck you by the third date, my time is too precious. I'm out. All right? But like I said, guys, if a woman pegs you as a beta male provider, sometimes you can try to fuck them bitches too. It just depends on what you want to do. Me, myself, I'm out. But that's up to you. That's your choice. As long as you're not spending no fucking money. If you ask me, I say cut your losses and dump the bitch. That's what I say. But hey, that's choices up to you guys. And another thing... With this guy's is, um, <clears throat> with this, going back to the social programming guys, uh, don't for you got don't go out here and try to become because I know I got a lot of young guys that watch me and shit, so I gotta watch what I say. Don't go out here and try to be a, a, a bad guy, a tough guy, just because I said some women see those guys. That listen, let those women do with the they. Don't worry about that dumb shit. All right, keep staying positive. Don't start breaking laws. Don't start doing dumb shit just because some women going to see bad boys as alpha males, all right? That's on them, guys, all right? Stay positive, citizens. Stay constructive. That shit is short-lived, all right? Stay positive. Stay doing the right things in life, guys. In the end, we always win, guys. Stay in the gym. Stay on your purpose. In the end, we always win. All those guys that when I was young who was having sex with all the girls in the hood and shit like this here, they all in prison or they dead or they went to prison and now they out and now they got a record and now they can't get a good job and shit like that. That shit is short-lived, guys. In the end, it always come back to us. It always come back to the guys who are living on the right side of the law. And eventually, guys, those guys got to grow up and they got to live with the choices that they made when they was young. That's the bottom fucking line, all right? So all the guys who were committing crimes when I was 16, 17, they working dead-end jobs now. They have no career, all right? They done been to prison. They got records. So they destined to live, if they my age, they destined to live the next 30 or 40 years in mediocrity, all right? That's the bottom fucking line. So in the end, we still fucking win, guys. All right, guys. Like the video, comment down below uh, what you want to see next. Holla back.